Hey guys, what's up? By Sacktron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next defensive type video, and uh, we're talking about double giant bomb setups, how you can set them up and make them uh, hard for the attack the attacker to figure out uh, in pretty unsuspecting locations. Uh, so just a few examples for you guys today, and I think these can really help in your war bases to make sure that you can uh, kill some hogs that aren't planning on dying, uh, because. Uh, a lot of times people, you know, when, when you're looking, uh, planning out an attack, I should say, uh, you're looking for places where the potential double giant bomb spot could be, you're going off probability, especially on the first attack, and uh, it, I mean, at Town Hall 9 especially, if you can survive that first attack, you've almost kind of done your job. Uh, as long as you're not hit with a fresh hit for a 3 star, uh, that's kind of an accomplishment to defend at least once, then twice, and anything beyond that is a bonus. So uh, it's so important to try to deceive the first attacker. So we're taking a look at a few tricky little double giant bomb spots you can put. One more note I want to add real quick is I would put them a little bit uh, decentralized. I'd put them a little bit farther out in your base. You obviously may have the... Uh, the added downside of them being easier to neutralize with the queen walk or just a very small push with the kill squad but for the first attacker they don't know where it is so they can't rely on doing that and uh, because Valks are so popular typically Valks are going to destroy the middle section of your base so you need to count on having those double giant bomb spots farther outside away from where the Valks will go uh, because they're going to do a lot more against the hogs than they will the Valks especially at Town Hall 9 so that's one quick note before this video starts uh, but anyway, this first one, uh, it's the diagonal, but has the wall separating it. I actually attacked a base like this, and it tripped me up about a month ago. So I want to um, share this with you guys. Um, so you can see right here, you know, it's not a, it's not a for sure it's going to be triggered correctly. That's one of the downsides, and uh, with these tricky double giant bomb sets, there's always the possibility um, the hogs could path in some weird way. But basically, uh, you can see here, and one thing I want to add is you actually want to move this, I didn't do it, but you want to move this defense next to the archer tower, move it like that, and then whatever defense, oops, forget about the, the uh, holes in the base, then for this defense up here, you want it over like this. And the reason for that is from either direction, uh, the biggest uh, possibility of it not triggering is that it will, the hogs will uh, go around the first giant bomb. Um, they're almost always going to hit, once they hop, hop the wall, they're almost always going to hit the one on the other side of the wall. So if we're coming from the bottom left here by the expo, um, this one's definitely going to be triggered. The question is, will this one be triggered? And uh, in order to make sure that it is, you want them coming at as close an angle to that giant bomb as you can. So you don't want them coming from over in this direction because they're going to go on off the top corner of this archer tower and there's a good chance they'll avoid the giant bomb. So um, it does have... A little bit of, radi of, of, of range, I think like one tile or something. So as long as you're close, you should get it. And it helps to put them uh, up here to try to get them to graze that. And uh, as long as you have it set up right, should get the uh, double trigger and should be able to kill those hogs. A pretty tri uh, tricky way to do it because uh, people always look for the 2x4 space. But um, it's separated by walls in this case. It still uh, works though. So that could be a potential thing to think about in your base. Another thing is uh, the sneaky little Tesla, and uh, not only the Tesla, but the wall separating the, the giant bomb. One thing the wall does when you have the the, uh, the wall between one of the defenses and the giant bombs is it allows you to put the defenses at like a tight angle like this. You could even have a cannon there if you get rid of this wall. You can finish this off up here because that wall basically is going to keep the, the hogs away from this double set, and uh, they can't trigger it unless they jump over the wall. So... Uh, because the Tesla's, you know, probably not going to have popped, and it's a little bit farther away, they're going to go from each cannon to the Archer Tower, and uh, they won't trigger any of the bombs until they actually jump over the wall to get to the Tesla. So uh, you can have kind of a tight little angle right there. It's it's good for compact bases, and uh, if you have a little bit of a dead space somewhere in there, you can sneak in a Tesla in that double giant bomb set, and uh, that can really uh, make it hard for the attacker. Uh, you can also start putting defenses, like I said, at tight angles on this side too, as long as you make sure uh, that they're going to somehow funnel to like a defense that's here by maybe putting one there. So yeah, you can have it be a pretty tight area within a base, good for compact bases, but uh, it can work for any base really. So for this one, it's a you, you're going over the long way, and pretend that those four single bombs or a giant bomb, I only have five, so I couldn't uh, do it. 
you know, put a sixth down. But anyway, um, if you have a big portion of dead space, like in this compartment, sometimes you can make it so that the hogs will go across them the long way, which really will screw someone up because it's very rare that you see it. Now, obviously, you can't have defenses where these uh, two buildings are or where these two buildings are because it'll be a single trigger. Um, so this is a good variation to the three-way uh, giant bomb set, which is also another good option. You can check out my video on that where I talk about how to make a, th a three, uh, three-way double giant bomb set in your base. But this is another good option, and uh, if you have a big stretch of your base where there's not a lot of defenses, just throw down two Teslas and then the giant bombs in between. And uh, if you're lucky, that can screw up an attack pretty nicely. One more thing I want to add, and this goes for clans that are facing a clan with a town hall advantage, um, or just something like that, is putting the Tesla in the corner, and uh, let me steal these for a second, not that, uh, these, and putting the giant bombs uh, up at the top. And I know this sounds kind of troll, and uh, you know you wouldn't expect to see it on a, a war channel, but this is something that actually can, it's, it's kind of, uh, not the the most fair way to play but I you know all things go in war I guess and uh, as long as it's you know fair play within the game and you can see here that uh, this will get a double trigger pretty much from any angle that hogs come at it so if you have like let's say your clans uh, has one town hall 8 then the rest town hall 9 and 10 and you're going against a clan that has all town hall 10 and town hall 9 you know that your one town hall 8 is going to be wrecked, uh, wrecked on the first attack but one thing you can do is set it up like this to try to screw up the first attacker because at the end, uh, as long as this isn't tripped somehow at the beginning, all the hogs will run over to that Tesla because it'll pop up and they'll get blown up on the double giant bomb set here. So this can uh, really screw up an attack and uh, it's something that you want to think about. Uh, only that I wouldn't recommend it on uh, normal basis, but if you have some lower level guys and uh, let's say you're you know you're over you're under uh, matched in, or you're overmatched in war however you want to put it the clan you're matched against is uh, quite a bit uh, stronger whether it's in town hall level or even skill level that is something that can mess up the first attacker don't do it on too many bases because they'll start looking for it but on one or two bases if you want that you suspect will be hit with a f that could be three star in the fresh hit pretty easily uh, yeah, go ahead and set this up see if it works. Um, like I said, not the most strategic uh, thing to do typically, but it can work, and uh, it'll really piss some people off, but uh, that that's war, I guess. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, should get some more good attacks from Alpha coming out. I know a lot of you guys applied for the uh, Clan Drifter series, and I'm going through your application, so just uh, hang on. I want to make sure I, you know, get them all read and I, you know, start picking the clans that I think really deserve it the most. So I want to be kind of diligent about that. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectron out.